This video is powered by Logitech G. Game with passion, win with science. Alright guys, welcome back to another video and it's about time the Oreo update for the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus has finally arrived for my region. So yep, we can slide down here and you can see software update available. So we can see we have uh, quite, a, quite a big uh, size here, 1.5 gigs, uh, the size of the uh, file. So make sure you have space before you upgrade and then we have a new build number of, uh, it's called crap, I don't know why you can see. The new build number is CRAAP crap. So that's the new uh, version. So Samsung Experience 9.0 upgrade with Android Oreo and all these are the new features which we'll be going through later. So we're just gonna be updating the device to uh, Android for your Oreo. So if you haven't received the update, you can check the link in the description below which will take you to the live uh, firmware update page where you can check out your firmware over there. So yeah. So make sure you have backed up your device as always and uh, make sure you have enough space the usual procedure so once you've done all those things you can read all these things and see what's the new features you're gonna get with the 8.0 audio update and yeah ready to install so i have enough battery i have around 67 percent so let's go ahead and install it install now and yeah it should take about roughly 10 to 20 minutes depending on how many apps you have so I think I have around about 100 over apps, so it should take about 20 minutes on my side. So yeah, now it's doing its calculation and performing uh, some system updates, you can see. And yeah, so I'm gonna skip ahead until the update finishes and I'll be right back with the uh, with uh, the hands-on experience with the latest Android Info Oreo update for the Galaxy S8. So stay tuned, I'll be right back once this is done. Alright guys, we have done updating the Galaxy S8 to the latest Android 8.0 Oreo update and took around uh, 15 minutes for me. So let's go and check out, check out the build number of this uh, version here of Android. So about the phone, you can see the you know, changes here. We'll go through that later. Let's check out the software information you can see. Let me zoom in. We are on Android 8.0. So let's show the Easter egg. So here we go, the Android 8.0 Easter egg. So we just long press and we get this uh, all of your Easter egg here, Octopus, yeah. So yeah, uh, let's check out the build numbers. So let's go, let's zoom in. You can see baseband version is XXU1 crap. Yes, XXU1 crap is the baseband version of this uh, device. And here's the build number as well, which is XXU1 crap as well. I don't know why they use the name, but that's how it is now. Um, and we're using the uh, Android uh, security patch level, which is February 1st, which is the latest one available now for this device. Right, so now let's move on and let's, oh, let's, let's discuss the new features that we see on Android 8.0 itself. So we're going to just take a look at the features of Android 8.0 first, followed by uh, Samsung's own uh, update to the user experience uh, 9.0 version so yep so firstly you will notice on android 8.0 is uh, you can snooze notification so let's say i have a notification here test so this is sms so let's just uh, you can just swipe it normally like this but over here you can see one more you can just swipe to the left and you can see we have a new icon here which is actually to snooze your notification so you can snooze for 15 minutes 30 minutes one hour or two hours so let's say I snooze for 30 minutes and save it will uh, notification will come out after 30 minutes again to remind me of that thing i snoozed so yeah that's a new feature so another new feature we got is uh, quick shortcuts when launching an app so you can long press on youtube you can see um we got ability to search uh, we can see our subscriptions and trending as well. So let's say I go to subscriptions, it will just send me there directly. So here, these are my subscriptions. Let's say for Play Store, I think we have uh, always shows you my apps, which is nice. Now I only go to my apps, show you all the apps uh, that you've installed. And let's try phone. 
and phone gives us uh, to create contact and groups so some of the apps uh, are supported I think most of the apps are supported let's try a third party app let's try BetterNet yeah BetterNet isn't supported as you can see because it uh, has to be updated by the developers of the app right now let's move on to the new things that I found in this update from the Samsung UI so let's just go to the lock screen first so right looks pretty looks pretty identical to the one on the uh, on the previous version of Android so from the time you can see if we just double tap we get a timer so this is new um, you can have a timer on the lock screen now a minor new feature but just want to show you guys and uh, yeah so the rest looks pretty much the same so you can just unlock using fingerprint and now let's take a look at the recent app so here it looks pretty identical but you notice that the uh, thumbnails of the apps are all in white now on top instead of colored so yeah and now you can obviously change to list view we have a new list view here so it's more faster i guess to scroll if you have a lot of apps open in the background so yep pretty nice and yeah so pretty nice feature there i'm gonna put it back to thumbnail view so here you go and let's move on all right so we have changes to the samsung keyboard major changes so let's go to the sms app here and go to the keyboard so you can see we have a new toolbar on top here so we have the uh, emoticon toolbar stickers uh, i think this is the uh, clipboard voice and settings and you can obviously switch here to the text predictive text if you want uh, another change is in the settings so you can check a look here we have a keyboard and layout so now we have high contrast keyboard you can enable this and uh, turn on so uh, let me see you can go to the keyboard size and you can see we have a new style new high contrast keyboard style there and if I'm not mistaken you can change the layout yep you can change to like this like this or like this it's up to you so new styles there i'm just gonna turn it off for now so that is the new feature we get from the keyboard um okay let's move on so we do have a ui change in the settings app so you notice here we have a search bar on top now last time it was just a search icon and we have my account there. that's my samsung account so the rest looks pretty much identical um, there is changes to the about section of the phone you can see uh, my device name all the IMEI information is there and all the basic information is already there at your glance so yeah it's now more simplified I guess uh, so that's nice and we also get new display settings uh, you go to display um, you can scroll down you'll notice uh, there's a new f uh, yeah block accidental touches this is new so if you enable this if your phone is in the pocket it won't accidentally touch the screen or it won't, it won't even uh, actually hit the home button by default which is nice and let's move on to some other features that i found all right so now let's move on to the next feature it's called dual messenger uh, i think this uh this feature was introduced on the galaxy note 8 so if we search dual messenger you can see we found it and you can see these are the apps that support dual messenger so if i en enable one of those apps i can actually run two of those apps at the same time with different accounts which is nice all right so uh, so i have i found some new settings in the display settings so it's called edge screen and right here you can see we have the edge panels and the uh, edge lighting so what's changed in this update is the edge lighting so i'm gonna go inside there and just turn it on and yeah so we have new styles you can choose now plenty of effects i mean you can choose uh basic multicolor, glow or even glitter you can see my screen edges are now glowing you can change the transparency of it or you can change the wave more thick or thin you can see it's thicker now if you want so yep it's all there in the settings um so yeah, and that's the new, that's the things that I found has changed uh, regarding the edge screen. And another change I found uh, is the device maintainers app. So this feature I think was on the Galaxy Note 8, not mistaken. So you go over here, you can see we have the auto restart function. 
which means uh, if you turn it on obviously you can schedule it schedule when your phone to restart uh, any time of the day which is nice i mean if you uh, are worried about your phone slowing down you can just restart it automatically which is fantastic and another major change is obviously the camera user interface so this one is using the uh, uh, full camera app from the Note 8. So you can see we have Bixby Vision, which is in words, not more in uh, icons. We have the uh, full screen option. So you press full screen, you can see we have full screen 18 by 9 view here. Other than that, uh, pretty much the same. You swipe left to your modes, you swipe right to your effects. And uh, yeah, these are your effects. And settings uh, looks pretty much identical. Um, most time we don't get the uh, live focus feature that is on the Note 8. I don't think that's coming to the S8. So, yep, that's all we get with the camera uh, using the face. And we have also some folder customizations. Let's say I have, uh, like, say I have this folder. Um, you can see we have more options in terms of colors. You can choose a different color of your folder. You even can choose any color you want. We have a color view here. You can choose anything you want to customize your folders and um yeah so that's the folders and now let's move on to the always on display that i have also found out uh has changed so let's go to the lock screen security yeah here we go clock and face widget so this is the clock style so you can change it's now different a bit so this is the always on display uh, clock settings you can change so this is mine now um by default you should be using this so you can now change to like new styles you have this one we have uh, this one looks kind of cool this one is an analog kind of design for your always on display and you also can change the color of it nice so we have a uh, brand new always on display so you can see new designs many many designs they added and you can download more from the team store so yeah if you want to add more you can just go to the team store and get more always on displays and for the lock screen as well you can tweak what clock you want to see uh, you can change to this kind of clock or this one basically all the what the ones you saw on the always on display uh, styles so pretty nice but i noticed here you can't uh, get it from the place from the uh, samsung app store to change the the theme so you need to get all these stock uh, clock styles here so yeah anyway it's nice to see the change and another feature is in face widgets this is a new setting uh, previously you couldn't do this so now you can choose where to show your face widget so let's say you only want to show in lock screen you'll just show on lock screen so let's say now uh, lock screen if you double tap you can see it shows the uh, in the face widget only in the lock screen so if you lock my screen and you see it always on display if you double tap we can't see the face widget because I've only restricted it to the lock screen so which is nice all right so yes uh, so let's go show for both and yeah so I think that covers all the features uh, that I've found on the uh, S8 or the new features they have encountered uh, if you guys are already updated to the latest version of Android on the S8 let me know in the comments on uh, how you how you guys uh, feel about this update is it good is it worth it leave a comment down below let me know um, to me it's still early to uh, tell because I've just updated it a couple of minutes ago so I still uh, need to test the battery performance and obviously the gaming performance and overall performance of the entire UI make sure it's smooth running smoothly and obviously I'm going to test the RAM memory management whether this uh, version of Android can handle uh, apps running in the background so yeah um, that's pretty much it I mean if those of you are still waiting for the audio update to arrive for your S8, don't worry, it's coming very shortly. Uh, it should roll out to most of the countries next week. Um, if you're not in the uh, European region, uh, you might get it next week. I'm not sure, but for me, I've already received it in my region. So yeah, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos that I'll be doing with the S8 uh, together with the audio update. So I'll be doing the battery review and also the performance uh, review of the device so yeah thank you much for watching see you guys in the next video peace out